Um, once a month, we do a testimony. And if you guys remember from January, we spent time with uh, Renika Cheney praising the Lord for what he's done in her life. And this month, we thought it would, pro- would be appropriate to spend some time with Pastor Brown and the First Lady Kelly. Who are about to step away on their six month sabbatical, long awaited. So we're gonna move over just a moment. Give me a second to unhinge my microphone. Okay, so all of a sudden, Brown family, mm-hmm. long awaited. I'm coming over. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Long, long awaited. My mic is on. <laughs> sabbatical season is, is now here. And. Um, we're excited to hear from you, but we're also going to miss you dearly. So I have a few questions for you. We've gone through some of these, and we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> Praise God. Okay, so the first one, uh, when you think about what the Lord has done to you as church leaders with all of your 25 years of ministry leadership, um, which of his attributes are most prominent to you, and why? Why? I'm going to have to say um, his faithfulness, and I'm going to combine that with his long suffering. Mm-hmm. Um, Kelly and I have been through lots of up and da- ups and downs in the 25 years. Ministry starting and ending unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. Our, our places in those ministries, um, to be more specific, things we thought we would, places we thought we'd be there longer and ended up not being um, places we thought we would love and it turned out to be hard, places just up and down and then the many revolutions of our own church um, over the 17 years we've been here, one thing has remained constant and that's the Lord. Amen. Um, He's there um, and so I would have to say faithfulness and long suffering of the Lord because not only have those situations gone up and down, personally we've gone up and down. Mm-hmm. Spiritually, emotionally, physically, in our marriage, we've experienced all kinds of things. Mm-hmm. But the Lord has been faithful to us and faithful and long suffering to this church. Amen. Yeah, faithfulness is the, the word that first comes to mind. Um, <clears throat> faithfulness in spite of us. Uh, sometimes, and and the leadership and being a young new church and making lots of mistakes with folks and, um, you know, the money up and down and all kinds of people not understanding us as a multi-ethnic church led by a black man um, and trying to, you know, push Howard, push this church into a certain mold that was more recognizable and, um, you know, the Lord saying that he had called us to do a different and a new thing. Um, and this church shouldn't have made it. <laughs> it don't make sense, do it? it? It makes no sense. This church is a, a strange little church. Um, and so, yeah, long suffering is a good word. And just, you know, his faithfulness at a certain point, you realize that it's him and not you. Amen. Amen. Um, as you guys know, we've prayed and waited for the Lord to deliver sabbatical for you guys for years and years. We've tried several, several attempts, and none have ne- seemed to take. And then all of a sudden, we made a commitment last year, and no one could have, b- before COVID, and no one could have predicted what was to come in 2020, 2021. What does this situation tell you about God and his timing? Uh you just don't know <laughs> what God is going to do. The only thing you know is that he's got you. Um, yeah. On some days, I think, why, Lord? Why you did this? We can't even hug folks goodbye. I know. And on other days, I think, praise your name. You've kept us this far. You know, this is finally happening. I can't believe it. It's still surreal. It's probably going to take me a couple Sundays to get it in my head. Um, yeah, it's, it's really curious. But I also trust the Lord. I mean, I'm growing in trust every day, but I'm also believing that the Lord has put everything in place, as unusual as it is, 
for this moment, for our good, for Christ Central's good, and for his glory. Um, I only have one little thing to say, and um, this comes from a whole gospel song, right? Right. He may not come when you want him, <laughs> but he's always he's right, right on, on time. time. That's right. Amen. Amen. If we had been real strategic, we would have had that started song that ready to go. Yeah, we would have started moving like this. Hey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Church okay. would have been four hours. That's we, all right. We would have danced That's for about right. one. Yeah, go on. Let's just pause the live stream and walk away for a minute, come back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are you most excited about? What are you most hopeful about? I'm excited about finishing a book. <laughs> I've started several. Yeah. I've finished none. Amen. So I, I'm excited to finish a book. I'm excited to just you know, enjoy the Lord as a child of God and not an employee of the church. Yeah, I, I'm excited about the spiritual nature of it. Um, as we've been revealing every week more and more, um, we are going, having, we do have a spiritual director and Dr. Peacock and some of the structures on each day um, to meditate on God's word and just sort of be, go back to college days when you had that quiet time thing um, and just revisiting, actually having a quiet time and reading the Bible and not thinking about yeah. how to apply it yeah. in a sermon or in a teaching or a lesson to just spend some time with the Lord to apply it to my life, but also Kelly's life, mm. Harrison's life and Clark's life together. Mm -hmm. I think it would be great to just be a Christian to learn how to be a Christian again. Amen. <laughs> and not just a professional Christian. You no, know? I hear it. I hear it. Um, as you guys step away from this family and for the people who are watching and, and that you know are on our, uh, in our community, in our family, what encouragement or charge would you have for us as we look into the next six months in your absence? To stay faithful to your fellowship. I think it's easy. COVID already has made it hard. Um, and I, I feel like I feel that loss um, from a lot of people. I, I know COVID is scary. And even six months ago, we weren't where we are now with a vaccine. Um, and there was always this question of in-person church and, and what normal will be and when normal will be. And I think it's just really hard right now for folks to check out and to um, just kind of go underground, live stream church. I mean, let's be honest, it's not church, mm -hmm. right? And so, you know, Howard and I have been here since, you know, obviously planting Christ Central. And it may give people one more reason to think, oh, well, I'm just, you know, who cares anymore? Stay faithful to your church. God called you to Christ Central because of him, not because of us. And so this is your family. This is your church. We are uh, separated and, and uh, times are desperate. Um, but you, we still need each other. And um, this is not the end. This is a season. This is a walking through the valley of the shadow of death. But he will see us through and we will come back. And, you know, I pray that saints are, are built up, not malnourished, mm -hmm. you know, not, not um, without the light and joy of fellowship and sitting under the leadership of this church. Um, so, yeah, stay, stay connected, stay involved. Um, take care of your spiritual health by fellowshipping at your church. Um, you know, with the COVID vaccines they talk you've got a new word out there essential workers right and we use that word essential a lot um, people need to know their relationship with the Lord uh, which is that vertical relationship and the horizontal relationship that we have with each with each other as a church are essential relationships when it comes to our faith in Christ Amen. when it comes to us living in and under the blessings of the Lord um, we cannot we, we shouldn't ever separate ourselves from those things. As difficult as it may be, we have to find ways. So my hope is that it would be like um, we're all Zoomed out. We're all virtual out. We're all quarantined out. But I hope that the Lord, upon our 
absence would almost like uh, breathe some fresh wind and fire mm -hmm. into this congregation um, in that it would be an experience of growth mm -hmm. and um, the Holy Spirit coming in and doing some revival at this church that as we're going through revival Amen. the spirit is dropping on folk here and they're going their lives are going through revival Amen. um and so that's my expectation that the sabbath is really about god tilling the soil and allowing the soil to to regain its nutrients in a way it couldn't before not that we're this heavy burden on the church growth but the lord does sometimes move people out who are in position, at least for a season, so that he can till the soil and, and do some, some different things. So I expect to come back and see leadership, new leadership that's risen up and people healthier and um, the Lord ready, uh, getting us ready for the next season when we return. But I want us to see it's not a pause, right? It, it is a continuation. It's an update. It's a renewal. Mm -hmm. of God's uh, of what God a renewal not a a retreat mm -hmm. or we just taking a break or a vacation Amen. it's so I want to just push that Amen. Um, I'm not going to editorialize but I I'll aim into that well you you can yeah. do you want to you, no I just I think older. I think these there's a lot going on while you're gone and the Lots. Lord is going to continue to be faithful, and the church will grow. That's right. And I'm just thinking about the the tens of deacon and deaconess nominations that are mm, about to set mm. fire with yes. training, and it's just good. Yeah. Um, uh, so finally, staying on the topic of prayer, asking the Lord for what he would do here at Christ Central. We are going to be committed to praying for you guys mm -hmm. and the boys while you're gone. Um, what would you like us to focus on in prayer for you? Um, it's weird because we've never done this before, so I'm not entirely sure what to say. Um, one thing that comes to mind is our children, Harrison is, he'll be 19 next month as bananas. Next month as in March. Yeah. And which a, is tomorrow, Three right? weeks, right? Less than three weeks. Um, and Harris Clark is 17. It'll be 18 in November. Be 18 November. in November. Our children have never known us not in ministry. Mm -hmm. So this is a new path for all of us um, in terms of what it looks like to have two parents who are engaged in a normal way. Um, and and I, I, we are looking forward to and ask you to pray for us to navigate and find our way well in that. I think it's easy to fall into some habits and tendencies that really aren't very um, very engaged. And I'm grateful for this spiritual director and for the counseling that we're doing because we're gonna be forced to do some things. But it's gonna be weird. I mean, it's gonna be new. <laughs> and so I, I am asking the Lord to uh, recover and redeem and restore a lot of our family relationships and family relating without having the, um, the church having been the center of, of so much of that. Um, and seeing our boys on the, on the cusp of manhood and moving into a whole nother stage of life, what does that look like for them that we can be there and be fully engaged to help them navigate college and, um, all those things, all of these precious moments that once they're gone, they're gone. And we have missed so many moments in ministry. Clark's first birthday, first birthday was a ministry event. Hmm. And we just sort of rolled it into one. And I look back on that and think, shame on us. Mm -hmm. um, we should not have done that. And there's so many ways that I think we didn't, we didn't care for our boys uh, in the most proper way. Uh, we put the church first. And I don't think the Lord required that. I think we made it up. <laughs> so I would love to see the Lord redeem that. Um, and it's certainly um, in ministry, personal growth. Personal growth is you give and you give and you give in full-time ministry. And I am just looking forward to um, 
being able to rest and receive and not have to pour out. Um, she spoke about the boys and I'll speak about, speak about us for a minute. I mean, our whole marriage has been a ministry event, most of it, um, where we live and work shoulder to shoulder. We've been a team for as long as I can remember. It was a joke when we were dating for me to say, hey, you know what? I'm putting this ministry together. I think I want you on my team. That was my cool way of saying I wanted to date her or whatever. Like, and it might lead to marriage. It was because we were both in that vein. We were thinking about mission and ministry. She was already thinking that on her own. I wasn't the one who brought her in ministry. I just found her running a parallel track and I told her to jump over to my train. Or, but, and then I'm realizing I really jumped to hers. So, uh, because she has a very clear vision for ministry, planting, everything. And I'm realizing, wait a minute, I thought this was my vision and it's been hers just as much. Um, and so it's time to stop living shoulder to shoulder as much. Um, instead of being a team, being an in intimate one face to face. So we're looking for, we're, we are, we have every kind of therapy, counseling you could imagine. Individual for me, Kelly, the boys each have an individual therapist. We have our marriage counselor set up and of course the spiritual direction person. And so we are going through some major heart and emotional and spiritual surgery. Mm. And, um, it's a good thing, mm -hmm. though. Um, so I don't know what it's going to be like getting up in the morning and not talking about church business. What, what are we going to talk about? WandaVision. The, the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> WandaVision. <clears throat> Marvel. Sorry. Not, not the spiritual answer. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't was what you looked for. We're going to talk about the Bible. <laughs> end of my questions mm -hmm. sorry that's the end of my questions is there anything else you want you want to make sure we hear from you in this moment yeah uh support this ministry this music ministry behind me <laughs> um you know this has been my heart for christ central um one of them and uh we've got Corey coming in and yeah. we just have some folks who've been faithful and uh you know support that ministry worship at home don't come back to in-person service and your joints all stiff for raising your hands and worshiping. <laughs> Practice at home. Keep worshiping the Lord. So you want uh, us to get off the couch. Get off the full couch. Full body worship. Full, full body, body worship. worship. Practice for heaven. Uh, <laughs> uh, rejoice and be glad. Um, come and, uh, you know, sing and, and lay your burdens down and let the Lord speak into your life. Yeah. As the pastor, I just want to, of course... Encourage everybody to follow those um, in leadership around you. Mm -hmm. Pastor Josh, uh, Pastor Derek. Now we have Corey, Mr. who's going to, Mr. G, who's going to be over the youth and young adult, adults. And we were on a call with some college ministry, a college ministry in the area. And I am very encouraged by all of them and the discussions we've had. Um, I want this congregation to know I sincerely am not leaving with any sort of fear or apprehension based on who God has hired in Corey and who we have in Derek and Pastor Josh I and our elders, women shepherds and deacons and those deaconesses and deacons that look like they're coming on mm -hmm. while I'm, and get trained while I'm gone. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am relaxing. Amen. I am resting in God because he's raised up leadership. In this band and this worship team and the and, and um, Jason and Doug back there, um, the whole Mays family, we, we 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 trust all that's going on in here, and um, we not watching y'all on church mm -hmm. as part of the sabbatical. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be watching, but I'll probably hear about it. Be like, man, have y'all heard how dynamic this church has become? Started in March. No. Um, <laughs> I won't hear, I hear about it from somebody else. No, but so we're, look, I have full faith in you guys and I encourage your church to continue to follow mm -hmm. these men and by extension, the women who are in leadership yeah. um, uh, with them um, to be discipled. Please continue to listen and obey 
and trust God through Amen. it. So on Wednesday night, we'll gather as a church for first week again, and some of the things we'll talk about is what next, what now, and what it looks like to leave, to let you leave, and also to leave you alone. And uh, we'll talk about some boundaries, and we'll talk about how we're praying for you. Uh, so know that we are uh, going to miss you, but you're not going to be forgotten. Right. Amen. We will have a different number. I yeah. want to let people know I have a different phone number and a different He's email been. address. So if you email or call us, don't go get, get all in your feelings. We don't have that phone. We don't have that email address yeah. anymore. Okay. So just want to put that out. There. Yeah. We'll, 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 <laughs> we're we're going to set the boundaries for you. I love y'all. Just want them to know that. So we talked about the bittersweetness of this moment. Um, I will say that I'm feeling it very deeply right now because I'm just going to miss you guys. We'll yeah. miss and I know I'm not alone. So in front of all these witnesses, know that we will, we will miss you. We will pray for you and we will welcome you back into fellowship in September. Amen. We look forward to it. Uh, in a normal moment, in a normal um, non-COVID situation, this would be the time when the leaders of this church, elders, women, shepherds, would kind of come around you and we would lay our hands on you and pray for you. Yeah. And while we're not able to do that right now, we've got the next best thing. A video? <laughs> it is. A cloud, of, a virtual cloud of witnesses and oh, prayer. All right. That's all right. That's very biblical. Hallelujah. I That's also right. want to say one thing before you run the film. Okay. I want to thank uh, you, family and friends, for giving to the sabbatical yes. funds. Amen. Um, it was more than sufficient yeah. to allow us to get away and be away and do the work we talked about as a family mm -hmm. and um, for me to finally possibly catch some fish. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I can go someplace where the fish are because every time I go, they go on vacation too. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can pray for that. My we Lord. will. That I catch some fish we will. Mm -hmm. that I want to talk about. <laughs> I don't have to lie. I can tell the truth that I caught some. We'll, we'll look My for pictures. Lord, okay, got you. All right. All right, go on. You got it back. <laughs> let's, let's pray together. Father God, I pray for the Browns family right now. I pray that over the next few months, they will experience deep rest. Howard and Kelly and Harrison and Clark. Um, and deeper experience of you over these months, Lord. That they'll experience you in ways that they've never experienced you before. I pray that they'll bond together and just really enjoy each other as a family. I pray for um, Howard and Kelly's marriage, that they will grow in deeper love and appreciation for each other as well. Free their minds of any kind of concerns or worry about Christ central, Lord, so that they will experience a deep physical and emotional and spiritual rest that they so need. And I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I praise you for the fruitful ministry that you've given to Howard over many years. I pray you would bless Howard and Kelly and the boys as they go on sabbatical. I pray that you would encourage him in his faith, deepen his insight into your word, draw him close to you, bless him and refresh him so that he can come back and continue to preach the gospel to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your love for us. I pray that as you loved us, so we would love you. And that means that we would remain in your love during this sabbatical season. I pray we would consistently read your word, pray together and by ourselves, and by showing and keep showing up for worship, even if it's virtual or at odd times. Lord, you promised that we'd bear fruit, fruit that will last. So for Pastor Howard, Kelly, Harrison, and Clark, may this season of drawing closer to you and to each other bear luscious fruit. For Pastor Josh, Pastor Derek, and the team of leaders and staff, may this be a season, uh, would be a one of courage and confidence. And for the congregation, may this season be one of deep spiritual growth for us. I pray this in Jesus' name. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts you've given your servants, Howard and Kelly. We're thankful for how you've used their gifts to faithfully minister to Christ Central. We lift them up to you now, thanking you for this special opportunity to enter into a sabbatical season. We pray you would bless them and their family in this time. Bless their activities, give them rest and renewal, help them to grow deeper in their knowledge and love of you. 
Blessed and protect his church in their absence and bring them back to us safely and refreshed, ready to lead us into a new season of ministry and growth. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Philippians 1 verses 3 through 5 say, I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And Father, that is the truth, and we pray it for the Browns. Thank you so much for Harrison, for Clark, for Kelly, for Howard, for the blessing of knowing them, for being uh, ministered by them, ministered to by them, and being um, just encouraged along as we aim to minister to this world. I pray that they know, know that they are loved deeply, that they are missed even when they are far apart, and that you are guiding and caring for them. Uh, and we are, we are just grateful for them. In Jesus' name. Amen. In my old 1978 NIV Bible, Zephaniah 317 reads, The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. And more current ESV adds that it's loud singing. And this verse is my prayer that all four Browns would know God's abiding presence, the mightiness of our Savior, that they would rest in your delight in them and you're rejoicing over them and that as their hearts are quieted by your unfailing love their ears would attend to the love song that you were singing loudly over them lastly i pray that they would be comforted knowing that you are singing over christ central church as well in their absence amen browns may your souls find rest in god alone as you dwell in the shadow of the almighty and the shelter of the most high god Remember that he is your rock and your fortress. Your flesh and your hearts may fail, but God is the strength of your hearts and your portion forever. Rest and be encouraged that the Lord has been good to you. We love you guys. Oh, great triune God, please grant rest, replenishment, and refreshment for the Browns spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally during this sabbatical. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we join in as well, asking you to bless the Browns and Christ Central Church during the Brown sabbatical. Lord, we pray that the Browns would have a wonderful time together and just mm. connecting to each other, that their roots would grow deep with one another and their mm. family of four, that you would give them good rest, spiritual rest, emotional rest, mental rest, um, physical rest. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I love you guys. Love y'all. Dear Lord, as the Brown family enters their sabbatical season, I pray specifically for Harrison and Clark. May you give them rest and peace that only comes from you. I pray that you create space for them to deepen their relationships with each other and with their parents and to really um, have the opportunity to discern your calling for their lives, Lord. Um, bless the whole entire family during this time of sabbatical. In your son's name we pray. And all God's children said amen. amen. Thank you, Browns, Thank you. for your testimony. We'll hear from Pastor Brown in just a moment. And Kelly will lead us in worship in just one.